In this video, I'll share how you can create a service principle in the Azure portal in four minutes. A service principle is a type of identity that Microsoft Entry recognizes that allows my app that I register to have certain permissions across my Azure resources. When programmatically connecting to Azure resources, it's common to have several environment variables that are set up from a service principle. The most common ones are Azure Tenant ID, Azure Client ID, and Azure Client Secret. Let's create a service principle for a resource group and give it the role of contributor using the Azure portal. This is the resource group that has several resources in it and I wanna create a new service principle which will have contributor level access to the resources. The first thing we'll do is go to app registrations and we'll create a new app registration. We'll call it app reg AIS demo. I'll keep this as single tenant and redirect URI doesn't matter for me as a service principal won't need to redirect to any type of user or sign in flow of any kind. I'll register. And now for this app registration, I see that I have a application client ID. This is the client ID that I'll use for my client ID environment variable when setting up the application access credentials. I have an object ID, which is the ID for internal Azure use only for my app registration. And then I have the tenant ID for the directory that my app registration is in. This will be the tenant ID I use when setting up the tenant ID environment variable. Now we need a client secret. I can come over to certificates and secrets. I can create new client secret. I can call it whatever I want. I'll say app reg secret 001, it'll expire in six months. Now I see the value and the secret ID for this client secret I just created. And this is the only time I can see the value for the client ID. So it's important that I copy this to my clipboard and paste this where I'll use it or somewhere else safe. Now in the resource group where I want to give contributor level access to for this service principle I just created, I'll go to access control add a role assignment. I'll say privileged administrator roles. I'll select contributor, next. And then I wanna add this to a service principle, which is under user, group, or service principle. I'll select members. I'll type app reg and I'll see our app reg AIS demo service principle which is the application I just registered. I'll select this, I'll review, seeing that I'll be giving this contributor level role to the scope of this resource group. I can now look at role assignments under this resource group, and I can see my service principle that I just created. And that's how you create a service principle in the Azure portal. You can now use the Azure Tenant ID, Client ID, and Client Secret environment variables within an application to take advantage of your service principle. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to this channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.